Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. Hopefully you've all had a chance to see the Deadpool test footage that was leaked ahead of Comic-Con. What it was, was just some test footage. It wasn't an official trailer from Fox. Someone leaked it, just trying to drum up some interest in the movie. Fox was trying to get a Deadpool movie going back in 2011, so the footage that you saw was from 2011. It was just released now. So this video is going to be a breakdown of the footage and what's happening with the project right now. A couple of big name people are actually running an experiment right now on Twitter. Also, a quick heads up too, I reshuffled a few of my videos this weekend, so just check my Facebook for an update on that, or Twitter. Links for that at the bottom of the description. And in case you're finding me for the first time, I do DC and Marvel videos every week. Be sure to subscribe to get everything. So let's start talking about that footage. The real story is that Blur Studios, the people that actually made the footage, leaked it to the internet ahead of Comic-Con. It was done without Fox's knowledge. Fox had nothing to do with it, and right after they posted it, it was taken down. Then people re-uploaded it, then it got taken down again, rinse, repeat. You get the idea. It's like the Hydra model. Cut off one head, two grow in its place. It wasn't part of any kind of panel they were doing. It was just the blur people trying to drum up interest at Fox, trying to show them that people were interested in a Deadpool movie. Even though the test footage is from way back in 2011, Fox still has not greenlit the movie yet. The trailer itself features Ryan Reynolds voicing the character, and presumably he's still down to play the role if the movie ever does end up happening. Here's a quick breakdown of what's going on with the movie itself. There is a finished script. It was written by Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick. Ryan Reynolds, along with all the other people that read it, said it was great. So way up at the top, Lauren Shula Donner and Simon Kinberg, the producers on the movie, they're on board with the idea. But the other people at Fox, the people that actually write the checks, don't really want to make an R-rated comic book movie. I think we can all agree that a Deadpool movie would have to be hard R in order to be taken seriously. The source material isn't like anything we've seen recently, and that's part of the reason why Fox is afraid to make one. For example, Guardians of the Galaxy, super successful movie about a big group of assholes saving the galaxy. Deadpool, on the other hand, is a cold-blooded killer. Like, it's in the name. His body count would have to be higher than a zombie apocalypse movie, and right now the comic book movie culture is tuned for family-friendly stories. The closest example of a hard R movie like Deadpool would be is Punisher Warzone, and everybody kind of remembers that movie. It was fairly infamous for being really, really bad. Anytime anyone walks into Fox and asks for $70 million to make an R-rated comic book movie, all they have to do is point at Punisher and say, it's not going to work. Nobody wants to make a movie that isn't guaranteed to earn a billion dollars. So the big question is, is how do you make a Deadpool movie that earns a billion dollars? There are a couple of options, mostly just tune it down to PG-13 so you can market it to a bigger audience. Also, foreign markets like China have very strict rules about violence in films. If you can get a movie released in China, that's like an extra hundred million dollars you could potentially make. That's why Transformers 4 had so many Chinese elements in the movie, because there were a bunch of Chinese companies backing the film and because they wanted the government to release it. The government there control which movies get released, so most studios really want to get their movies released in China, just because potentially it's an extra billion people that will buy tickets to your movie. So moving on to marketing, there's some interesting stuff going on on social media now with the people behind the film. They're trying to drum up some interest. Right now on Twitter, Rhett Reese, the guy that actually wrote the script, is asking fans to retweet a specific tweet of his if they'll go see or buy tickets for an R-rated Deadpool movie. Even Rob Liefeld, the artist on the Deadpool comic, jumped on board. It just started, but I'll actually post a link in the description in case you guys want to participate. Reese is just asking you to retweet his tweet as a way to show Fox that people are really interested and will buy tickets for an R-rated Deadpool movie. So I know a lot of you guys are just asking, why don't they just kickstart the film? Why don't fans just crowdfund it? The reason they can't do that is because Fox owns the rights. So the only way the filmmakers could kickstart a Deadpool movie would be if Fox said okay, and they have not. So thus, no Kickstarter. I have not read the script, which apparently is pretty good, but here are some of my picks for stories I think they should do. At the top is Joe Kelly's run on Deadpool. It's collected in an omnibus if you guys haven't read it. His run started in 1997. He's basically the guy that gave Deadpool all the signature character traits that you see in the current comics. Start to finish, it is one of the best collections of Deadpool stories ever. In fact, most of the time when you see people posting Deadpool pictures on the internet, they're using pictures from his run. After that, there's Deadpool's time on X-Force. It's Rick Remender's run on Uncanny X-Force. It's collected in an omnibus too, in case you guys want to read it all. It started in 2010 with Uncanny X-Force number one and went through issue 35. There actually is an X-Force movie in development at Fox, which is probably going to get made. So even if Deadpool doesn't get his own solo movie, maybe he could be part of the X-Force movie. Even if he's not part of the team, he could just have a cameo in the movie like he did in Wolverine Origins. Usually when people make a new team-based comic book movie, they keep it 
pretty simple. Like X-Men started with a small cast and then expanded, so I'm not expecting Fox to jam Deadpool into their first X-Force movie, but he could always have a small cameo, and that would be a good way to drum up interest for another Deadpool movie. After those two runs, I feel like Merc with a Mouth would be the next place to go for a story. Deadpool in the Savage Land, it just sounds like so much fun. Picture him walking around with his decaying severed head that he talks to. That might be a little much to expect from a movie, but I'd love to see them include the talking head as an easter egg. They did kind of do it in the Wolverine Origins movie, but it's not about him just talking to the head. The head would have to look like he's been carrying it around all year. Like super gross, but not quite a skeleton head. But the really important thing is obviously the actor, so Ryan Reynolds is the last one to play the role. Do you guys want to see him come back? I feel like his career has hit a bit of a speed bump, so it seems like this is the kind of project that he would jump on board with really quickly. Usually high profile movies like this are an express train to rebooting someone's career. Here's a quick list of other people I think would make great Deadpool actors. First up is Zachary Quinto. I feel like he did a great job of playing a crazy supervillain on Heroes, even though that show kind of lost some steam. Jonathan Rhys Myers is another person that's great at playing crazy people. I don't picture Deadpool with a British accent, and if you did see him on that first season of Dracula, it actually got cancelled. He had the worst fake American accent, so they'd have to tune it just a little bit, but he's a great actor. Jeremy Renner would be amazing if he weren't already Hawkeye. Interesting side note though, there was actually an awesome Deadpool vs. Hawkeye storyline in the comics during the Dark Reign period. Sam Worthington I feel would be another great pick. He has the right physique, but he would have to go way over the top. Most of his acting is pretty reserved, mostly tough guy acting. I could maybe get on board with Tom Hardy. I'm looking forward to seeing him in Mad Max Fury Road, but I feel like he'd have a harder time selling the comedic aspects of Deadpool, but I think he could do it. But let me know, if they decide to go with a different actor, who do you want to see them cast as Deadpool? As of right now, I don't think we're actually going to see a Deadpool movie till after X-Force, and that movie won't get made till after X-Men Apocalypse, and probably the next Wolverine solo movie. They're actually working on an Old Man Logan movie for Hugh Jackman, so expect them to prioritize that. I feel like those movies are a big reason why Fox isn't really rushing into Deadpool, just because they feel like they have some safe bets. Like they feel like they know how to make X-Men and Wolverine movies, they have the formula down, and they have guaranteed profits, so they're not scrambling for too many other new franchises. They're trying to figure out Fantastic Four, which could completely go sideways, so I think they're also kind of waiting to see how that goes. I know a lot of you guys are really worried about that new Fantastic Four movie, I'm just going to wait till I see stuff from it to do any videos. In related news, since all you guys responded to my Twitter and Facebook posts this morning, I'll be posting new Doctor Who and Legend of Korra next. I'll try to have all that stuff up by Saturday morning, but you guys can always follow me on Twitter and Facebook for updates. There's links to that at the bottom of the description. Right now, click here to get a breakdown of all the DC movies coming after Batman vs Superman. They announced nine of them, there's a ton. And click here to learn all about Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you guys tonight, high fives.